before my econ, I had no investments. I was struggling financially. I had over $100,000 to of debt. And then when I got involved in my econ and started using the strategies, I was able to eliminate $100,000 in my first year in business. I cash flow over $300,000. And now I'm putting more money to my investment portfolio so I can be a cash flow millionaire. Like before my econ, I'm a single mother of a five year old working sun up to sun down, every other paycheck or paycheck to paycheck or month to month. Um, since my econ, I've cash flowed an extra $300 per month on my current job. I've started my investment uh, fund account. And I've also also started my emergency fund. I've um, currently been able to pay off seven credit cards. I've upgraded my lifestyle. I was able to get my son his own room. So life has been great since my income. Life before my econ was a total mess. I retired from the postal service some since 19, 2008. And since, since becoming a part of my econ since November of 2016, my wife and I have been able to cash flow upwards of about five, between five to $700. We're applying the strategies because strategies are better than selling. I've been in the network marketing arena for quite some time. But since joining my econ and applying these strategies, my life has been totally, totally turned around 180 degrees. I would highly recommend that if you're on the fence, you take a look at this because this is going to be the new economy, my econ. Actually, like before my econ, I was very financially illiterate. Uh, my husband and I were professionals in our community. Uh, we had children. I was not sure how to manage money. He's a coach. I'm a corporate secretary. We were making good money and did not know why we were still struggling. We were struggling to have our money from day to day to make bills. I guess we were the average people that were living from paycheck to paycheck. Well, when I was introduced to income shifting strategy, it was through Mr. Stokes who came to Arkansas and I happened to be the only person in the room that day and I enrolled. I've been with this company for uh, 12 years since its inception and Mr. Ivy Stokes along with the other uh, Alvin Curry, Mr. Leon Gibbs and Mr. Edward Townsend began to teach us how to change our W-4, how to save on our taxes, how to eliminate our debt, and how to build new credit as well as to invest. And since then, what I did immediately, I increased my cash flow by $12,000 annually because we changed our W-4 form. I began to save $6,000 a year on my taxes. And then we came out of bankruptcy, built new credit, was able to get things at a lower interest rate, we paid out over $50,000 worth of debt, and then we turned around and made investments that increased our cash flow by over $450,000. And listen, the amazing thing is, I didn't even know that my husband wanted to go into the cattle business. Well, he began to talk with Mr. Stokes about all of this investment education. How about we got cows over in Arkansas? So I'm excited about what income shifting strategy has done for me, and it's a blessing for everybody that begins to take the concept and work it. Hey, 
Hey, you got Martina on the line. I'm muting myself back out to continue the welcomes on Facebook Live. This is a real story. I had not looked at my W-4 in over 20 years. So I had two kids that got married, still never looked at my W-4. Once I was introduced to these financial strategies that the wealthy use, hey, it's not a secret. All we have to do is become financial literate, learn how to apply these strategies. Since my econ, I have cash flowed over $316 a month back into my paycheck and cash flow cumulative in 18 months I've been with my econ over $100,000. So learn these financial strategies, learn how to apply them, and I promise you, your life will change. Before my econ, um, my family was basically like everyone else's, uh, not really thinking there was anything we could do about our taxable income, uh, the money that we were taxed, making a uh, pretty decent amount of money, but getting hit pretty hard as well. And so after my econ, we were able to bring back into our home roughly $766 a month. And within nine months, my wife and I have been able to cash flow over $42,000. And so I'm thankful to my econ because I'm getting more educated and then I'm able to pass it on to others. Welcome to the call, Coach Bobo. Just heard you chiming in. Welcome to the call, Coach Kimberly Poe. Heard you chime in, guys. Go ahead and get this live shared out. Get this live shared out. I'm so excited to see Mr. Tony Clopton and Mr. Carlos Lester on the call. Mrs. Candace Jones on the call. You guys should see their testimonies coming up. As a matter of fact, let me re-show Candace's testimony right now. Like before my econ, I'm a single mother of a five-year-old, working sun up to sun down, every other week, or paycheck to paycheck, or month to month. Um, since my econ, I've cash flowed an extra three hundred dollars per month on my current job. I've started my investment uh, funds account, and I've also also started my emergency fund. I've um, currently been able to pay off seven credit cards. I've upgraded my lifestyle. I was able to get my son his own room. So life has been great since my income. Go ahead, Miss Candace. Got that baby his own room. I know that feeling. Let's hear from Mr. Tony Clopton, guys. Like before my econ, you're looking at somebody firsthand that knows about bankruptcy, foreclosure, volunteer repossession, bad credit, bad spending habits. After my econ, first strategy, brought in an extra $465 a month. Got my credit score up from a 528 to a 730. I'm on the process of uh, buying a new home. I've acquired two new rental properties and I actually was able to get two much needed vehicles for me and my wife with a low interest rate, man, and life is great. Thank you so much for that testimony, Mr. Tony Clopton. Let's see if I skipped anybody else. It's so many amazing testimonies on here, guys. Look, check out this one from Mrs. Candace Woodruff out of Memphis, Tennessee. I think, is she out of Morgan Stone or Memphis, Tennessee? I think out of Memphis. I am platinum in my econ. I absolutely love my econ because whenever I joined, it, it not only helped me get extra money back into my pocket with the cash flow of over $300 every month, but it helped me to change my mindset and how I see my money 
And when I changed my mindset about how I see my money, I changed how I see my life. I changed how I see my finances and, and really my future, which is what I love so much because it, it's changed the way I see every single thing that we do um, from now on. So I've opened up businesses since joining my econ. I've had success in those businesses and now the future is just very, very bright. No, Sherry, <laughs> but I am on the line, Sherry. Well, before my econ, uh, I've been in business for myself since officially since 2005. Uh, we were pastoring, my wife and I, in North Little Rock, Arkansas, and we were living good, looking good, driving good, but we were broke, right? And so and as a result of that, uh, being introduced to my econ, uh, now we have an even greater perspective uh, on our financial life. We've been able to help so many people uh, with their finances all across the country. It's just amazing how uh, God has used us to be a blessing to so many. And as a result of the uh, My Econ Principles, we started teaching those principles at our church where we're our pastor. And we were able to pay off our church mortgage early. And here's a doozy, guys. Check this one out. I think this is the last one before we go ahead and get started on the call. Okay, so before joining my econ, I just was, um, you know, a single mom of three, going to work every day, and um, and uh, I found myself always needing to make a little bit extra, and I found myself uh, in between jobs, and um, things got a little uh, critical for me financially, and I found myself facing foreclosure at my home in my home and uh, i was in other businesses trying to make things work but it just wasn't quite hitting the way i expected it to so a friend of mine told me i should take a look at something and i told her quite honestly i'm not interested in looking at nothing else i'm burnt out i just don't want to do it she said sis i really need you to take a look at this so i took a look at it and I said, you know something? I need to do this because right now I'm critical. Things are critical at my home. I'm getting foreclosure notices. The sheriff even came to my house. Well, I joined my econ. I did my income shifting. And within my first six weeks of business, I made over $4,600 and was able to take that money, add it to what I already had, and pay $9,500 to my mortgage company and stop Artists. my foreclosure. So my econ rescued me to well, well, save well, my well, life. And so since then, I have to be telling everybody Artists. I know about the my power. Name, wait, I mean, thank you, Vice President Go, which is also company. Folks, I hope you all you, you, you got your seatbelts on right now. You sit on the edge of your seat. First, I just want to thank everyone for joining us this, this, this tonight. Uh, I'm trying to think of what day it is. It ain't Monday night. Okay, this Monday evening. Thank you for joining us. You could have been anywhere else, but you're taking the time out to sit here with us for a little while and learn about this awesome opportunity that we're about to talk to you about this evening. I want to give it back to my wonderful, brand new executive vice president, Ms. Malisha Montague, for hosting the call. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You did an excellent job. Thank you so much. And I'd be remiss if I didn't bring to the forefront of the stage Ms. Martina Yelverton, who is live streaming the board and and just putting the information out on Facebook, letting everybody, she's holding it down. Thank you, Martina. Thank you. We got the illustrious guest on the line this evening. Doc and Winter Bobo. Mm, come on, y'all. Stop playing. These are phenomenal leaders out of the Memphis, Tennessee area. We thank you for joining the call. But I'm ready to bring to the stage that y'all get who we get in business with your society. Got a gentleman I'm bringing to the stage, my mentor, my friend, my wife says, you know, she calls him my new BFF because we're always on the phone talking to each other. But hey, I like the information he had. He's dropping those nuggets as a leader. I'm trying to learn. I've been in this organization now for two months. I'm, I'm listening to everything he said. The guy is a husband, a family man, a businessman. He actually owns a tax office here in the Raleigh, North Carolina area. So he knows 
talking about. Come on. Come on. Work with me here. His name is Coach Glass Ellis. The gentleman has been in this organization for a year and a half. He has helped hundreds of people create their visual income and start to change people's lives. He loves helping people. And that's, that's, that's what I like about him. I like somebody who's going to reach back and give back and help me do what he's done. So with that being said, again, my name is Kirk Wheeler. I'm executive vice president. I hope everybody has pen, paper, pencil, crayon, um, an extra stitch. Whatever you use to take some really, really great notes, he is going to come right there and bless you. And guess what, y'all? You are truly going to come on the second half, and I'm going to talk about some money. Because I know that's what y'all just called for. So just hold tight. We're going to get to that part. Go tell us. Are you on the line, sir? I am, Kirk. How are you, sir? Or I'm good. I'm more than amazing. I just, I, I just, I'm ready to. I got my pen and paper too, so I'm, I'm waiting to hear you speak. The call is yours. Okay, so well, thank you very much, Kurt. First thing I'd like to do um, is, you know, send a strong out to Kurt Wheeler because he steps up every single time. We had a little technical difficulties, but you guys didn't even know, and Kurt just made it happen because that's what Kurt does. Even in this business, that's what Kurt does. Um, and I also want to uh, send a strong shout out to Martina Bray-Dobleton for going live and, and doing this thing live so the world can actually hear and see uh, what's going on, you guys, okay? Um, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get this, this call going, you guys. The name of this call this evening and the title, okay, was What Other MLMs Tell You, Okay, But Won't Show You. Let me repeat that again. What Other MLMs Tell You But Won't Show You. Okay, And also today, we will be um, showing you where the real money is. Once again, we'll be showing you where the real money is, okay? Now, let's go ahead and start with the, um, with the other MLMs, okay? Uh, a lot of MLMs, uh, I don't, it doesn't matter which MLM it is that you're a part of, most, most MLMs, you join their organizations, okay? And they will tell you that you have deductions and you can write off things and on your business. But what they don't tell you guys is they don't tell you or show you how to do it, you guys. They don't show you how to do it. Because the reality is a lot of them really don't even know how to do it, okay? Um, and another thing, with, another thing is that um, a lot of people in other MLMs that are part of other MLM companies, they don't know how to really take advantage of the tax laws and applying them to their current situation to bring extra income into the household to actually be able to help pay for their business. See, they don't even know or, or they don't teach how to have the government actually pay for their businesses for people, okay? But see, you guys, today the game changes. See, that's what happened with me, you guys. I, I was part of another organization, okay? Uh, even as a tax professional, I knew certain things, right? But there are certain things even as a tax professional that I did not know until I became a part of my econ, you guys. I had a auto ship of about $150 uh, every single month, okay? Um, and this happened every single month. But I knew I knew what I needed to do. But there were everybody else that was a part of the organization. They had absolutely no ideas. So what happened is at the end of the year in their taxes, they actually took major losses, you guys. Major losses. And what I wanted to do today, you guys, before I even went deep into everything, I wanted to uh, I have a, a I wanted to get a quick testimony from somebody who's a part of another MLM, okay, and they had this type of experience and I wanted them to express their um, you know, what happened with them and what they realized. So, um um uh, who did um, I'm sorry, there was um Kimberly Pro, are you on the line? If you are, start fix yourself in. Hi, Coach Bliss. Can you hear me? I can, Kim. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, so, guys, you know, I'm so honored to be on this call tonight and just share my experience with my econ and other MLM companies that I've been a part of. And this isn't to throw a jab or anything at any other opportunity that's out there. But I have to say, hands down, my econ is number one. And let me explain why I say that. Um, for me, you know, I've been in other companies where I sold products, and I did well in those other companies, and I made substantial income. But, oh, my God, if I had known 
what to do with the income that I was making. If I had known about the tax breaks that I was able to take advantage of because I had a home-based business, things would be so much different for me now. You know, one of the big things that I did not know for my four years in being in other multi-level marketing companies was the fact that I could have been paying my daughter wages for working with me. And my daughter actually did work with me. She would go with me to home-based parties and, and hold down a rap party for me and, and help me to help collect money. I mean, there's a number of things that my daughter did. And for years, I was not aware that I could have been paying my daughter wages and writing off over $6,000 a year off of my taxes. That's huge. I was not aware and I wasn't able to inform my team of the fact that we could have been writing off our monthly auto ship. Do you know how huge that is? In other company, I was, I was paying up to 125 to 150 a month for my auto ship, unaware of the fact that I could have been writing that off of my taxes. Do you know how much of a blessing that would be for people in their household alone that one change, let alone the wages that you that you could be paying your children? You know, so I'm so thankful to my econ because now, you know, I'm, I'm educated and I'm also able to educate my team members and other friends that I still have in other network marketing opportunities of the tax advantages that they are able to actually receive. You did. The amazing thing about my econ is we actually encourage you to make, to have multiple streams of income because the more money that you have, the sooner you'll be able to get yourself out of debt. I could go on and on and on with the things that I've learned from being a part of my econ that I should have known with being a part of other multi-level marketing companies years ago. But the one thing that I can say is I'm truly thankful that now I know. And when you know, you do what? You do better. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, Kim, are you telling me that for the years that you were part of other, other ML companies, and not to knock any any other companies or anything, Absolutely but you're not. basically saying that you lost tons of money because you just did not know and nobody um, told you. Am I correct? Nobody told me. Nobody told me. You know, the rumor was, and we would hear it, and I was one of the ones that would tell my team, hold all your receipts, keep all your receipts, make sure you keep all your receipts. But the truth of the matter is, we were keeping these receipts, but we didn't know what we were able to actually write off how much we could write off, and how to write it off. And if you're not going to uh, a tax professional that actually knows the law or cares to even ask, you're not going to get that money back, right? And a lot of the times, well, 99% of the time, people join network marketing companies for what? More income. Well, who would have known that just by having a home-based business, we were able to bring home more money in our paychecks? Stop playing. So stop playing. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that, but... Yeah, I mean, years of me not knowing has cost me tons of money. Yes. Tons of money. Okay. So, oh. and, and if you think about that, and, and, and as you mentioned, see, a lot of people don't know um, that just by owning a home-based business, okay, if and a lot of MLMs do not know this, that at your current job or your current place of employment, if because uh, most people are, um, associates are W-2 employees. They're doing this extra to make extra money, right? Or to get away from being a W-2 employee, right? But see, right. a lot of people, know, now they may have taught you that you did have tax right off the hold your receipts, but did they teach you that the government can actually give you, will give you money to run your business and pay that auto ship for you every single month? Did you know that? Absolutely did not. I had no idea that I could have been bringing home more money on my paycheck to buy inventory for my business. <laughs> you know, a lot of the time, you know, we join these businesses, just like you said, to better our financial situation, right? So clearly, at the time we join, we're already in a financial hardship. <laughs> we just, we're looking for a way out. Right. And who would have known? Because nobody told me that by me simply joining a home-based business, I would have been able to adjust and correct my W-4, bring home more money on my next paycheck <laughs> to be able to finance whatever business I had going on at that time. That's huge. Able to finance your business. Okay. Absolutely. So, Kim, I really, really appreciate you coming on the line today and, and just uh, 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 letting everybody know the effects of not knowing okay what we're about to talk about today okay i really appreciate that you're welcome okay? 
Absolutely. Okay, you guys. See, the the, the whole objective, you guys, when we join these organizations, join and come go into business, is to actually make money. Okay, make money, and a lot of, and a lot of it is to number one, take care, help you take care of your current lifestyle. Okay, meaning your current lifestyle, uh, we're talking about helping pay some of the bills that you have, right? Whether it be light bills, gas bills, making sure we got food on the table, okay? Making sure your kids got clothes on their backs, okay? This is one of the goals that we want to achieve uh, by joining these organizations and these companies to try to make extra money and hopefully potentially make that the, the primary uh, source of income at some point in time, right? Okay, so and then we also, what we want to do is our second goal is to make enough money, all right, to prepare us for the future, our future lifestyles, when we retire, when we no longer want to do this stuff anymore, okay? But the problem is, a lot of us, the majority of Americans, are stuck on the first objective, which is taking care of the current lifestyle. Okay, so there's not enough money left over, you guys, to prepare so you can invest in, in, in something to help you prepare for your future lifestyle. Okay, but see, the reason most people don't even realize why this is happening. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, you guys, is I'm going to break down what's actually happening to your paycheck every time you're getting paid. And these are the four obstacles that are hindering you. All right, from reaching that first object, I mean, your second objective, which is to invest in your future. Okay, the first obstacle that we do have, you guys, that everybody faces is called the silent income killer. You guys, write that down the silent income killer. All right, and I'm gonna tell you what that is the silent income killer, you guys, is inflation. Inflation. And I don't think people really understand how powerful inflation is and how inflation silently robs you of your income, okay? But I'll prove it to you, and I'll show you right now. I always talk about this bag of potato chips at, 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 when I go to Brooklyn. Uh, I, I used to go, um, you know, from Brooklyn, New York. When I go back to visit, I have investments out there. So I go out there, and I'm visiting. I always go to this one store for my, this, this bag of potato chips that I love, Okay. Ten years ago, the same bag of potato chips was 25 cents, okay? Fast forward ten years later, when I go, when I went recently, that same bag of potato chips, you guys, was 99 cents, basically one dollar, okay? So, basically, that bag of potato chips went up four times the amount, you guys, from within ten years. So, my question to you, everybody on this line, did your salary quadruple in 10 years? So that would basically mean if you made $50,000 10 years ago, today, to keep up with the inflation rate on a bag of potato chips, you would, be, have, to, you would have to make $200,000 today to keep up with the rate of inflation on a bag of potato chips. Stop playing. Now let's go ahead and times that Time school clothes, time food, gasoline for your vehicles. Just about every expense that you have has gone up substantially within those 10 years. So guess what? In 10 years, you, even if you got a raise at your job, uh, let's say you got a $20,000 raise within those course of 10 years, you still took a pay cut over the course of 10 years because inflation quadrupled. Stop playing. The silent income killer. So write this down, you guys. A third of your income was, was snatched away due to inflation. So write that down, you guys. Inflation. The next thing that came along and is taking another third of your income, write this down, you guys, is high taxes. We call high taxes the chainsaw massacre. All right? Because it comes through right from the gate and rips another third right out of your check as soon as you get paid. As a matter of fact, the government gets paid before you get paid. And I'll prove it to you. When you see your gross, then you see your net, doesn't it look gross? Stop playing. 
The reason why it looks gross is because the government took about a third in taxes, a 30%, roughly 30% in, in taxes. Stop playing, you guys. Anywhere between 28 and 30% gone due to taxes, high taxes. But guess what, you guys? That's just that tax. Now let's talk about gas tax. Homeowners, uh, uh, home, home, uh, home tax, property tax, okay? All of these taxes, taxes don't go down, you guys. I haven't, taxes always going up. Stop playing. The chain saw massacre. So write another third, you guys. Write another third down. Because this is what's happening to your check every time you get paid. A third is going to high taxes, okay? Now watch this. The fourth one, okay, the fourth uh, um, obstacle that we, I mean the third, I'm sorry, the third obstacle that we had, you guys, is debt. Debt. And I'll show you what I mean and how this all plays out. You're going to be like, yo, bless you, right, okay? Inflation is taking a third, high taxes took another third. We're looking at your actual check. Let's say this is your monthly check, okay? This is what's happening to it. Inflation a third, high taxes took another third. Okay, and then debt. You create debt. Okay, you, so what you tend to do, and what most people do, okay, they're, um, the majority of their income is being taken right from the game. All right, so they need something to do to float the difference, okay, or uh, to make up for the loss. So what they wind up doing. Is, is getting credit cards and floating stuff on credit cards, floating the loss, floating the difference on credit cards. Okay? The curse, you guys. And then what happened is compound interest, okay, takes another third of their income. And I'll give you a quick analogy. Grandma, from back in the days, used to have that couch in the living room, okay, with that thick plastic on it, right? Nobody could ever go in that living room, all right? You can walk by and look in it, but you can never sit on that couch. And you can never play in there or be in there or nothing. You can't even talk to somebody in there because it was quiet in there, right? The reason being is because Grandma bought that couch for $599. She financed it back in the days, okay, for at 16% because the rates were really high back then. So at 16% and stuff like that. Right? So what happened is, Grandma wanted to pay $11,000 for that couch, $10,000 for that couch. Stop playing. Due to compound interest over the course of those years. So guess what? And you notice, that's the only couch Grandma ever had. Stop playing, okay? So what I'm telling you, debt. We create debt. But not only that, um, we do stuff like, um, you know, I, I work so many hours a week, okay? I need to do something to make me feel like I'm doing something. I need to see it. So what we tend to do, you know what? I'm going to treat myself to a brand new car. So what we tend to do is we'll go out, buy a $25,000 car, finance it for five years, okay, and pay $45,000 for it. Stop playing. All right? So guess what? Debt, mark another third. Gone. So a third from inflation, a third from high taxes, and then another third is going due to debt. You're creating debt, all right? You're probably wondering yourself, man, that's my entire, that's, oh, that's my whole check, right? Wrong. Watch this. Here goes the rest of your check, and this is what's happening. Big business. Write that down. Big business. Okay? Big business is constantly in your pockets, and I'll prove this to you. Last month, this month, we're still in September, right? Yeah. This month, we had, well, last month we had the 4th of July. In July, I'm sorry, we had the 4th of July. Okay? That's if everybody's out buying things, okay, for cookouts, um, fireworks. Did you know that 80% of fireworks sales take place in that industry on that one day? 80% of their profit is made on the 4th of July. Stop playing. And guess where the money came from? Your pockets. 
okay? Big business. And this happens every single month. That was July, okay? In August, we had back to school, you guys. So guess what? We're going to buy our kids new book bags, new books, uh, all of the supplies, etc. All the things that they actually need right now, okay? And here's the crazy part. How powerful big business is, right? Big business will have you buy your child a book bag when their book bag from last year works perfectly fine. See, they have behaviorists, they have um, psychologists, that they pay millions of dollars to figure out how to get money out of your pocket. Okay? Then we have Labor Day uh, last uh, this month. Okay? Cookouts, parties, etc. Halloween in October, Thanksgiving, Black Friday uh, in November. But guess what? They started creating new holidays to get money out of your pocket. Check this out, you guys. Cyber Monday. That's new. They created that. And guess what? You are going to participate. One way or the other, every single month, you are participating in big business. So here's my next question to you guys, right? If, it, well, first of all, it's called systematic poverty, okay? You are part of a system that's causing you to have an impoverished mind, okay? So here's my next question. If inflation took a third, High taxes took another third, debt took a third, big business took the rest of your money. When did you actually get paid? When did you get paid? See, because when you got paid, you didn't even get paid. Inflation got paid, taxes got paid, debt got paid, and big business got paid. When did you get paid? You see, you guys, that's the problem. These are the obstacles that 80% of Amer Americans or even more are facing every single day. These are the obstacles. You're probably wondering right now, oh my God, bless. You are absolutely correct. So what am I supposed to do? Well, guess what, you guys? We do have the resolve for you, okay? We do have a way to help you get, first of all, out of debt. All right, and prepare you to prepare for your future financially. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to bring an also amazing leader in this organization, my econ. Okay, uh, Kirk is a easy executive vice president. Go. He's only been in this organization two months. Okay, and he has already helped over seventy people in this in his organization. All right, bring positive cash flow into their household because that's what we need to do you guys we need to get you guys into a positive cash flow cycle right now you're in a negative cash flow cycle so Kurt, are you on the line sir coach i am here i am here can you hear i can hear you clear as day i think the people really want to hear you so break it down and tell and show them the solution to this obstacle so we, we have a solution, so we do have a solution, but first, I want to give it back to you, Coach. I was sitting here listening to you, and I, I'm telling you, it makes me think, I was working a job, I went whoop in, slapped my ball. He didn't tell me about this, taking all my money in taxes, and the IRS didn't tell me. I, you know, was just sitting here listening to you, and I'm like, man, I'm ordering something every time I hear this thing. So, I, I'm, I, I'm done, like Coach said, my name is Kirk, I'm the executive vice president, go that is here with the company. Been here two months now and love it every day. So y'all want to know the solution, right? Because the coach did he did the hard part. He just did the hard part. I'm ready to do the easy part. This is what everybody wants to hear. And it's the easiest part. It's called my econ, the personal financial success company. That's our solution. All over. That's all you need to know. No, I'm just playing with it. We're gonna get into this money. So my econ is a 12 year old company based out of Atlanta. And guess what y'all is a hundred percent debt free. Technology driven and family focused uh, company. We teach income shifting now. What you need to write these words down income shifting because that's going to change your life. These two words are going to change your life financially. Income shifting. We're going to teach you how to do that, okay? We're going to show you what that is called minimizing taxes, gaining residual income because your bills are residual. No matter what, when you retire, your bills don't stop. You can't go to time on the table and say, hey, listen, I don't work anymore. So I just want to pay you a lump sum and get it all over with. It's time to burst my life. Sorry, it's going to work that way. You got residual 
feel, but we're gonna show you how to make this visual income. And you know what, y'all? The associate, just like me, the other associates in this company, Dr. Gary Bobo, some of our esteemed guests on the call, the associates, y'all, have cash flows over four hundred million dollars. I'm gonna say that again. The associates have cash flows over four hundred million dollars. The solution starts with what we call smart cash flow strategy. The strategy is minimizing your taxes, which is going to help you to eliminate debt and then grow your cash flow. And see, what we know about money, you can't outwork it. Correct? You cannot outwork money. Money don't sleep. Money don't take a vacation. Money don't get sick. Money don't call out. All right? And then you take money and you buy more assets. And your assets does what? It creates more cash. And you're going to use that cash to do what? Buy more assets. Which is going to, in turn, do what? Generate more cash. Come on, work with me. The income shifting. Did y'all know? Over eight, and see, what I'm ready to tell you now, this is the information, what, what Coach did tell you, this information that I'm ready to put out to you, you cannot unlearn it. When I put it out to you, you heard it. That's it. Before now, before tonight, all of y'all were in this situation that you're in. You were in it by force because you didn't know. Grandma, granddaddy, mom, and dad taught you the old traditional way. Go to school, get a job, do this, that, and the other. They didn't know this information. So the information that you don't know costs you money. But right now, you know, you're in this situation about four. But after this, after I finish, if you choose not to do anything with this, you're in it by choice. Okay? So let's get started. 80% of the American population pays too much money in taxes. I didn't say that. I did not make that up. That comes straight from the IRS. 80 percent high at least forty dollars a week tell too much in taxes, okay? All right. Like I said, information you don't know costs you money. We're gonna show you how to maximize your take home pay, which can be used for investing and debt elimination, right? Okay. Home based business. Did you know that Uncle Sam will actually pay you to run a home based business? Once again, these are some of the things that other MLM companies just don't tell you. Uncle Sam will pay you to run a home based business. As a home based business owner, you know, you have over 475 different tax deductions that you can do. Did you know you have, you got a dog in your house? And guess what? Here's your security system. Somebody come knocking on my door, my dog don't bark. That's my security system. Here's a tax write off. Come on, stop playing. All right? In order to take advantage of this, the IRS says you only have to have, you only have to meet three small criteria. Anybody can do this. Work your business on a regular, consistent basis. Attempt to make a profit and keep good records. We're going to show you how to do all three of those things. Work it. Attempt to make a profit and keep good records. So listen, let's do a little role play here. I'm going to do all the roles. Can't operate, you can't participate with this. <laughs> so, listen, you're running a home based business. Let's just say, for example, you make $50,000 a year and you have a home based business. Did you know that the IRS says that you can actually write off a piece of your home office for, for your mortgage or rent? You can write, write a piece of that off. You can write off their mobile communication, the internet, the cell phone bill. I'm going to show you how to write off the cell phone bill. Come on. Travel expense. This is a big one. People love to travel. I love to travel. My wife and I, we love to travel. But guess what? We're going to show you how to write it off to business. Because, you know, everything that you do in your personal life can be equated over to business. The government says so. I'm not making any rules up. These are things that if you research, you'll find out. Everything you do personally, if you can you can actually add it to business as, as a write-off. My wife and I, we love to go out to dinner. Actually, I think our kitchen is one of the underused, you know, kitchens in America. We always go out to eat. But guess what? That's write-off, correct? And did you know what? That you can actually hire your children to work for you. That's big, y'all. Stop paying your children you no know, allowances and things like that. You're gonna hire them. So we're gonna we're gonna get to the put some little numbers behind it. So everybody can get a clear understanding of what I'm talking about here. So let's just say you make fifty thousand dollars a year. Okay, right? Let's say you're able to write off three hundred dollars of your home for, for your home office. Why? Because your home based business is ran where? At your home. So let's just say three hundred dollars a month. That's thirty six hundred dollar deduction right there. Subtract that from your fifty thousand dollar salary. The government now says you're making forty six thousand four hundred a year, correct? You're really making how much? Fifty thousand. That thirty-two hundred is in your pocket, right? Throughout the year. So 
guess what, y'all? As I said, your mobile internet, your communication, your cell phone bill. Let's say you're paying $100 a month. That's $1,200 a year in addition that you're going to write off. So now where are you at? You're at $45,200. Now, here's a big one, y'all, because the government said if you drive a car, we're going to pay, they're going to pay you 54 cents a mile. An average person drives 20,000 miles a year for business, okay? You quit that to business. Now, that's $10,800 deductible instead of you deducted from what you actually make at your job, right? So now you're looking at $34,400 in deductible that, that, that the government says you're actually going to be taxed on. Here's the other thing. Let's just say you put $100 a month. Twelve hundred dollars a year, but now you're down to thirty-three thousand two hundred dollars. You're actually making how much? Fifty thousand. Keep that in your mind. But guess what, y'all? Here's a big one: children. The government says your child is worth six thousand three hundred fifty dollars in deduction, right? If you got one child there, now you're looking at twenty-six thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars. The government is only taxing you twenty-six thousand eight hundred fifty dollars at eighteen percent. Whereas when you started it, you're technically you're actually making fifty thousand dollars, right? Without a home based business, you tax that thirty percent. But now you're only being taxed eighteen percent. So you're down. The government says they're only going to tax you on twenty six thousand eight hundred fifty dollars. That's winning. That's winning, y'all. You know that's, that's, that's powerful there, right? But also, in that business, you're running this home based business, and guess what? It's only thirty four ninety five to get started and to run your business. The government is actually giving you money to run your business. How are they giving you money? Income shifting, y'all. We're showing you how to income shift your paycheck to reap it out like Coach did. You have W-4 at your job. That's going to put extra money back into your paycheck right now, this month. We're still in September. You're going to get a pay raise in September. And also included in your membership, y'all. Come on. The cash flow manager. Remember I said the government says you have to keep good records. This app, the cash flow manager, is going to keep all of your records. Identity defense, ID defender. And I'm sure everybody heard about this income shift. Uh, I'm sorry, this, this uh, data breach with Equifax, right? Come on. And did you know, now they want you to put more information on their website to see if you've been hacked. How are you going to ask me to put more information on your website to see if I've been hacked? Come on, we got ID defender. That's included. One million dollars worth of, of, of protection. Family shield, they should get hacked on your computer, social security numbers, and stuff like that. Get out on it, right? You're protected a million dollars. Smart money system. Smart money system, this is our credit service. Why am I going to go to a credit company and pay them $100 down, $89 a month, to to fix my credit? I, I, I can't see it. Because, see, that's a scam, right? That's the two percent of a scam. They're going to fix one thing a month. Because why? They want you paying that bill every month. Ha uh-huh, y'all. That's included with our service. Come on. That's included in your membership. Credit repair. Somewhere. Also, your travel agent. If we get just this better and better, I know that ain't no word, but when you're making money and you're running your own business, you can pretty much say what you want to say, right? I mean, you can make up stuff. Better and better. Gooder and gooder. I'm a, I'm a travel agent. I book travel. I want to go take a vacation. Guess what? I'm going to my travel website. Right directly to Priceline. And listen, y'all. Somebody else goes to Priceline on the outside. My race is going to be even better. My Priceline is, I'm going to get paid to travel. Stop playing. But here's my favorite one. The cash bag ball. <laughs> I love to shop online. We're still shopping for the kids before school started. Um, went out to the store. And the kids try to close it on so we can see what patterns they wear, right? Come back home, get on my ball. And say, so go right back to that same store, buy clothes at a 20 25% discount, get them shipped to the house, and then get paid cash back. It's, back. it's called a cash back mall. And then we got a host of other products for you um, that you can actually market yourself to and make a very good income on. But some of them, see the solution personal financial success, minimizing taxes, income shifting, building business income. But now, See, everybody, this is the big thing. This is why people are going to start talking about the money. You see, that was, that was all the boxes of everything that we do and showing you how to income shift the check. That's well and good. That's well and good. But here comes the money. If we want to build money, we want to build residual income. So remember those residual bills. You come into this opportunity, right? You're the marketing director. You show the first two people that you show this business to, our company is going to pay you $10 per person that you show this business to. 
people really understand um, how powerful this is. Just as Kimberly Cole mentioned earlier, okay? Certain things she just did not know in the beginning starting her business, okay? Things that she did not know. So here's where the money is, you guys. You want to know where the money at? The money is. You join this organization from day one. You are going to be taught how to income shift at your current job and get an extra two to five hundred to a thousand dollars extra every single month. You guys, you already won from day one. The government says they will help you run your business, help you get out of debt, you guys, just by having and owning a home based business. See, in this organization, we teach you, we don't just tell you that it can be done. We teach you exactly how to do it, you guys. We teach you the how, okay? So um, whoever is on this line, it doesn't matter what uh, other company that you're a part of, okay? This is something everybody needs, okay? This is something everybody needs. Those order sheets every single month, 150. I'll never forget those. You get them every single month, all right? But guess what? I was paying for those out of pocket, just like you probably are paying for them out of pocket right now, okay? But the reality is the government can be paying it for you. They will give you more of the tax money that they would normally take from you. They give it to you to help yourself get out of debt and to invest legally, ethically, and morally, you guys. Okay, so here's what I want to do right now. I want to let everybody know, get with the person that invited you to this call this evening, okay? Because I'll share this with you. The government wastes no time taking money from you. They won't take no time. Why would you waste another second getting your money back? Stop playing. So once again, get with the person that invited you to this call. Get with the person that invited you to this webinar, to this live stream, or whatever. Go ahead and get the ball rolling. The ball rolling, the ball, I mean, I'm sorry. It starts with you, and it starts today. If you are working a W-2 right now, I mean, a regular job right now, and you do not own a home-based business, the reality is you are losing just by joining and this organization, you start winning from day one. You're not selling anything. We're not asking you to do anything else. The first step is to income shift. We need to get you to a positive cash flow situation to help you get out of debt and ultimately to get you to a point where you're investing in your future. God bless. Uh, once again, my name is Bless Ellis. You guys have a wonderful rest of your evening. And once again, I can't stress it hard uh, uh, enough. Get with the person that invited you to this call this evening and change your financial picture overnight. Have a good evening. Goodbye.